Okay, here we are. It is day number 11 here in Las Vegas, and uh, we are just on our way over to the MGM. Uh, Jack has got an interview with uh, Jason, he's going to do this morning for his uh, documentary. Uh, Ronnie and I are going to tag along and look like we, we belong to, uh, to the team. <laughs> Hence why we've got the shirt and that on there. No, we're just gonna, we'll find something to do while Jack does that. Uh, we had a good night last night though, didn't we boys? Went out for dinner and a, just a couple of drinks. Played it uh, nice and uh, nice and easy. Yeah, a lot of lies last night. Yes, we did, yep. So today, so as I said, Jack's gonna do the interview with Jason. Uh, we've got the weigh-in at uh, four o'clock this afternoon. It's the official, unofficial weight, if that makes sense. So they have actually made the official weight this morning at nine o'clock. This is more the media and fan type of weigh-in, so just to give us a bit of a uh, bit of joy for the day to see them all weigh in, which is probably pretty good for, for Andy weighing in at nine instead of having to sit around hungry and thirsty all day. It's not a real good feeling. So, uh, and then tonight we're going to look to get to finally get to Fremont Street so we can get up to down there. But stick with us. Uh, another big day coming at you, day 11 here in Las Vegas. So we're just here at the weigh-in for Haney Lomachenko and of course Andrew Maloney and Junto Nakatani. What did you make of uh, Junto Nakatani, mate? Surprisingly uh, taller than Andrew, mate. Mm. I, I sent him face on and there didn't look to be much difference in the height, but geez, 
watching them square off there, there is a, I, I think he's about 5'11". He looks pretty big, doesn't yeah, he? he does. but, but, yeah, um, but, uh, yeah but the arena here, mate, MGM Grand, we haven't been uh, here for, what, about five years? Yeah, a long time now, yeah, it's just... Uh, Last time we are here, you you took a stand, uh, Jeff Horn got beaten by yeah, Terence Crawford. Yeah, it wasn't happy, mate. You spat the chewy, you stormed out, camper. you didn't say goodbye to anyone, you stormed out in the huff. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, as always, mate, great to be here, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was, it's hard to find words, really, mate, I'm... Uh, you have to actually sort of be here and see the atmosphere and just the way they do things over here, yeah. mate. Isn't it? Like, there's no, no half measures. Uh, just a fabulous arena as well. Yeah. You know? And if you're wondering why Jack is not sitting next to us, he's currently down. He's in the silk department. Yeah, he's down in the uh, the media area getting some really good footage down there yeah. of, um, yeah, good on of what's going on. And, and good on him this morning too. We got a really good interview with, yeah. uh, with Jason. That's right. We went up to Jason's room and um, just the two of them did the interview, so it was really good. I think it went to. 30 minutes or something, something like that. It'd be interesting so, to see how it turned out too, yeah. then, you know. So, and we are, just a bit of a heads up, we are going to do a, uh, a premiere of that uh, documentary on this channel at some stage. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, yep, so we're just waiting for the two main event fighters to come out and uh, we'll see what fireworks well, happen. Well, it's getting closer and closer by the minute, mate. Two to, uh, one day, yeah. yeah so. I'm sort of, I've got to the nervous stage now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day 11, we, we move on.
just here on uh, Fremont Street. And Jack, I think I speak for you that you've got to see it to believe it. Yeah, yeah would agree. What are your impressions? I know it's very loud. Like, I'm sure you've seen all the footage and the lights and the stuff. But, yeah, like, I mean, not something that I knew about coming here, but I'm very glad that I've uh, it's, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, if you haven't been to Vegas before, make sure you come to Fremont Street. Um, as we said earlier, you've got to see it to believe it. It's a whole different vibe, whole different feel, whole different type of crowd that gets down here. But uh, just, it's great to be part of old-time Vegas. And, um, yeah, just, uh, what do you reckon, Ronnie? Uh, well, I've said before, man. It's totally different, even though we're in Las Vegas, it's, 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 it seems to attract a different sort of person. <laughs> and that's, that's been, uh, yeah, that's, 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 yeah. that's put that mildly, yeah. but, uh, but as I said, if you haven't been here before, yeah. to Vegas, as I lose myself there, sorry about that, uh, make sure you check out Fremont Street, it is uh, one of the, we'll call it one of the wonders of the world, I reckon. <laughs> onward, for day, uh, onward for day 11. Okay, that is the end of another busy day here in Las Vegas, day number 11, and uh, it comes down to one more sleep, and uh, we're into the big one tomorrow, and I'm not referring to Haney Lomachenko, I'm referring to Andrew Maloney and Junto Nakatani. So you've seen there, we went to uh, the weigh-in this morning, apologies for the, um, the, the footage, um, I wasn't allowed to actually take my camera into, uh, into the venue, I tried to explain that my phone can do exactly the same as what my camera can do. So what's the difference? They wouldn't have it. So I had to check the phone, uh, the camera. Long story short, the footage there was from my phone, which, as I said, wasn't overly great. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, you would have seen there, we also went down to Fremont Street. We had to take Jack down there. You can't come to Vegas without going to Fremont Street. So uh, it was a bit of an eye-opener for young Jack. And uh, we also went to the sign, uh, Las Vegas sign, before walking back to the, uh, the Luxor. So we're here now. Um, and uh, I'll say it's going to be sort of a, an early night. Uh, it might be before 3 o'clock if we're lucky. Um, but uh, um, we're going to meet at lunchtime tomorrow, go get a bite to eat, uh, get ready for the day. So we're going to go over to the fights at about 3, uh, 3.30. And I think Jason's on, uh, Andrew's on at uh, 6 o'clock local time here, which is about 11 o'clock in the morning in Australia. So, um, But really looking forward. Everyone's super excited. Um, static for uh, for Andrew. He looked great today. Uh, stare off was pretty intense, I will say. Um, and uh, he looks fit, strong, ready to go. So look, we're all here for him now. The rest is up to him. Unfortunately, we can't do anything for him. But uh, look, just in it, he looks like a, in, a, in a great frame of mind. And I've no doubt, no matter what happens, he will bring the Aussie spirit uh, with him. And um, and I'm you know 100 convinced he's going to put that belt around his waist. So. Uh, all set for a big day 12, the biggest yet, uh, well, second biggest yet, I suppose, or equal first, however you want to put it, along with Jason. But either way, whoever's more important doesn't matter, but we're here. We're here for Andy, and let's just hope he can get that w WBO uh, super flyweight belt around his uh, waist tomorrow. So um, thanks again for uh, for joining us on our journey. Day number 12 coming up, the biggest, uh, um, or as I said, the, the joint biggest day yet. And I uh, just can't wait uh, until tomorrow night to be at the MGM Grand when hopefully we have our, uh, our third male or current world champion. See you then.